What's up guys, Evan Aldo here. So in a different location today, I am up north. Um, I was sick last week and I uh, felt better, got a lot better and then um, kind of feeling under the weather again now, kind of the weather change I guess up here coming up from Florida where it's uh, where it's warm to the freezing cold northeast, especially when you come up uh, later. It, uh, it kind, of, uh, kind of later in the year, the colder parts, it kind of gets at you more. So yeah, but don't worry about me, I'm all right. <laughs> So VWAP coming down on the two week, this is what could bring us down to 48K. This is definitely what could bring us down to this general area. I've been saying a while that I thought plan B was going to be eventually wrong. Too many people knew about him. Um, also, you know, we haven't had a 30% correction in quite a while. 30% correction, where would that bring us to? Eh, about exactly 48K. So 48K is kind of the Big number I've been looking at. Nothing on the bullish side has really played out uh, too well. I tried to go scalp long earlier today in the exclusive Discord. That was a loser. But then I went uh, short off of potentially swing short off of 57K, and that's played out very well. That was a uh, trade in the exclusive Discord right here. And this was the failure right here. So full full, discl full disclosure, I uh, do make, I don't get every trade right, obviously, but I like to say I'm. Uh, Right, more often than wrong. So yeah, I'm not a psychic, unfortunately. But yeah, weekly coming down, same deal that was confirmed. And I want to look at the four day because that's looking terrible right now. Um, the four day is just terrible. This is another reason why we may come down to uh, to 48k um, there. You know, maybe the view up starting to curve over soon. It does look like we have some room to come down more. Um, we kind of are bouncing off of a uh, spider line right now, a linear spider line, but, uh, and guys, linear spider lines, like, check it out, I have a video kind of on how to uh, do spider lines, also a more detailed video on how to do spider lines in my uh, course, link in the description below if you want to take my course, especially if you're new, I think it's going to help you guys out a lot, I put a lot of effort into that course, so yeah, um, this is not looking good either on the 12 hour, 8 hour, um, not looking, not looking the best, not looking the best. Why is this taking a minute to load here? Um, okay, now we got it. Yeah, coming down. Video coming down. Money flow coming down. It does look like they have some room to come down more. A little snake eyes here made for that nice long there. But, uh, well, the last long I had was a uh, Cardano long. Finally stopped on profit. We hit, uh, or I hit three, uh, three take profits on that. That was over the weekend. Um, entered it on Thursday, I believe, though. It's kind of a swing trade. So yeah, we're hitting right here, 55.8 right now. It seems like we might be losing that uh, that level right here. Um, let's see right now. Barely a reaction off of that spider line. Barely a reaction. Wow. So yeah, just nothing looks good right now. I wouldn't even, yeah, not even, don't want to fool myself. I mean, let's look at some of these really low time frames. Yeah, you got money generally coming up as prices coming down, but... Maybe, you know, maybe that would have been your uh, scalp along right there from 55.7 all the way to 56. But yeah, just not not the way, you know, this is just dumping. And it's it's looking kind of like uh, 2020. You know, a lot of, I remember I said back in September of this year that it was looking like September 2020. And it kind of played out that way. A lot of fear back at that time. I remember September 2020. And now it's kind of looking more like... Uh, Thanksgiving or November of 2020, you know, that dump into uh, Thanksgiving. So history is repeating kind of well, which is interesting. History is kind of repeating um, quite a bit as it was last year. I know it's not going to, you know, go on forever like this, but yeah, it is repeating. Let's look at Ethereum right now. And Ethereum is looking the same as Bitcoin. I don't want to bore you too much. It's looking very similar. The two week, I believe, is already, already got the red dot there. Uh, two days coming up, so that's the, kind of our bullish hope. But, uh, you know, you haven't had the money flow crossover yet in the 16 and 12 hour, but I think it probably will happen relatively soon. Where can we end up with Ethereum? Oof, you don't even want to know. Uh, 37, you know, 38, 37 is a big area. After that, if we do have that, you know, 30% correction, I could definitely see a good shot of us coming down to 30%. After that, maybe 3,000, maybe it's Ethereum, guys. I mean, a 25% correction from here would bring us down to 3,000. Great place to uh, stock up or try to look for a uh, sw nice swing long entry. Never financial advice, though. Anything could happen. But yeah, I mean, four hour, you know, VOP was trying to come up here. Didn't come up, coming back down. So we'll see what happens if we crush down some more. Um, 
here. I feel I feel like four thousand should give us, you know, maybe a psychological area, but I'm just not seeing any like divergences, not enough money coming up on some of these lower time frames for me to be comfortable going along or anything just yet. But uh, I'm happy with my Bitcoin short right now. So yeah, that's Ethereum. Let's look at AVAX because that's been topical. It's been a great performer and just um, well, everything else has just been not good. Let's look at the daily. You know, you're about to print that red dot. We could be getting close to the top here. I think if everything really dumps hard, if Bitcoin dumps the 54 and the 48K, this is this will dump. This will come down, guys. Um, so yeah, hitting off twice off of kind of this FIB level, getting ready to form our uh, 2.618 FIB level. And VWAP's coming up here, not the strongest VWAP on the 8-hour. 4-hour, I think you might just curve back down and print a red dot after this. Um, that's what I'm kind of thinking. Divergence, you know, you're kind of starting to get, you're starting to get some divergences. You can see it better on the uh, one hour all the way from here. You see this is coming down to here, coming up. So that divergence that's playing out, just a matter of how close we will, how far we will come down from there. And these, uh, well, 24 minute, 30, 30 minute, just generally money flow crossovers down a lot of times. Money flow is trying to come down and it finally comes down. So yeah, we could be getting to the top on this. Just be cautious on this one, guys. Never financial advice, though. Any, every Anything can happen. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you want to check out my course, there's a coupon code below. I think it's a really, really great um, thing for uh, new people at this. I think it's going to help you guys out a lot. It shows you my main trading strategy that I use to catch bottoms, catch tops, and be really, really profitable uh, since May um, with this. So, yeah. Um, check that out if you want to check out my exclusive Discord link in description below as well. If you want to create a new Femix account, want to create a new Bybit account, um, check out the links below. Helps out the channel a lot. All right, guys, have a good one. Goodbye.